what's going on, Sempo Squad? Welcome back to a brand new video, and today we're talking about mixed breeds in black clover. They're quite the topic lately in black clover, apart from maybe, maybe one or two things, you know, I can't quite think what they could be, but still, regardless, mixed breeds are quite the thing right now, and the main example of what we have about a mixed breed right now is obviously charming. She's half human and half dwarf, and honestly, it's not that much deeper than that, except that it allows her to have access to two different sources of magic power. In her case, it's her, her usual cotton magic, but also now she has her meal magic. It's basically what the Diamond Kingdom were trying to do with those experiments, you know, putting two grimoires together like what they did with Mars. I truly think that mixed breeds are actually going to be playing quite a heavy role in the story during the, the next saga after this, considering all the clues that Tabata has been kind of given us about their existence all along. Now then, what I want to talk about is the possibility of other mixed breeds. When you think about it, other possible mixed breeds are out there, and I think there's one that comes to mind straight away, and that is obviously Yuno. You know, or at least in my opinion anyway, has it clear ties in with the elves, and it's very likely to be in some way, shape, or form related to Licht. We know that Licht and Theata are having a baby, or they were having a baby, which would have obviously led to the eventual birth of a mixed breed between a human and an elf, and we also know that Yuno has been likened to how Licht was in terms of skill back in the day. The parallels and hints are there. Which leads me into this. If you know does so happen to be half elf, half human, then what will his second kind of magic be? Obviously, right now he's got his wind magic, which he absolutely dominates the scene with, but he will have a second one if this is the case. And there's one in particular that I think makes the most sense and also ties into what I was saying about leading into the next saga. And that is sword magic. We know that that was Licht's forte. And we also know that that is what Asta uses. I think if we were to see Yuno get sword magic, he would be able to train with it along with Asta under the aid of Fanzel. Fanzel obviously helped Asta with his swordmanship back in the Witch's Forest arc, and if the next big story arc takes place around the Diamond Kingdom like so many people expect it to be, including myself, then we could possibly see the two of them training under what would end up being Fanzel Sensei. And then lastly, the one thing I want to pass on to you guys regarding this is it's a very long shot, but can you think of anybody else that uses two types of magic in the story? Julius, he had his time magic, which was his go-to magic during battle, but he also had his transformation magic, which was very similar to that of Grey's, which allowed him to travel from place to place in public without being noticed. Now, if that's the case, is Julius a mixed breed? And if he is, then what is he a mix of? So this is the Norse universe tree, the Yggdrasil tree, or however you pronounce it, which is also the name of William's tree magic, if you did not know. And it's pretty much what all species in Black Clover so far have been based upon. We've had humans, we've had elves, we've had dwarves. Now, if Julius is to be a mixed breed, then what would he be in relation to this tree? Would he be a god? Would he be a giant? A troll? What type of creature would he be part? Now, let me know in the comment section down below, as always. Leave all your thoughts and opinions down there. Leave a like on the video if you, as well if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not ready to become a member of the Senpai Squad. And I'll be seeing you guys in another video. But until then, peace.